so cracked to a pine tree. <laughs> a barbecue in a swimming pool. I walk around with my shoes tied. Shoes tied. I go to sleep in a shower cap. <sighs> I ate Chex Mix for cereal. <laughs> it's always just saying stuff that really grabs your ear. Those are all real lines from his song. <laughs> Sold some sherm to a fiend, look like Phoebe Bridgers. <laughs> I used to hate sprouts, but now I love them. <laughs> Part of growing up's opening your mind to new cuisines. <laughs> I grew up tap dancing with Reba McIntyre's older sister. Very specific. <laughs> That's how you know it's true. If Dr. Phil couldn't save Bam Margera, who can? <laughs> 1.7 billion streams? Well, uh, you gotta think at least 700 million of those are weddings. Ah. You know, can't uh -huh. you see like father-daughter dancing oh, to this? Yeah. Or maybe father-dad dancing to this? Father-dad? Two dads. <laughs> Two dads dancing? That's okay. Yeah, no, it's fine, but it's not. <laughs> I don't think it's what you were trying to say. Well, the father-dad dance at a wedding. The father-dad dance? Yeah, it's like, so the bride's father dances with the groom's <laughs> dad. <laughs> it's a big thing at weddings. Mm -hmm. And it's usually choreographed and kind of like, <laughs> like it's a hitter. It's not like a slow dance. If you think about it, we're kind of all doing a father-daughter dance with father time. Oh, yeah. And that's a slow dance. MFR. <laughs> I mean, Ed writes wedding jams, man. Yeah. This is like w when the two grandmas on each side kind of cartwheel down the aisle with the rings. What are the weddings <laughs> that you're going to, man? I mean, what are you talking about? <laughs> the, like, I mean, there are wedding traditions out there that I'm not familiar with. I mean, now there's different cultures and all that, and I'm, I'm, I'm hip to that, but this is different. Man. It's called Grandma's Last Wheel. And it's the last time the grandmas get to do cartwheels, and they do them with their fingers interlocked, and they kind of do them together. <laughs> what? I've seen it at least three times this last summer. What the hell, man? Oh my god. But this is a classic jam for that. I mean, you just imagine. It's pretty easy to imagine. It's not ridiculous. <laughs> Seems pretty ridiculous to me, but what I guess. What the hell does your family do? Perfect tonight. Perfect by Ed Sheeran. <laughs> I just remember at my sister's wedding, my dad juggling the family coconuts, and then whichever one falls first, everyone eats a little bite of. He was doing it to the song. Oh, God. There's a lot going on at the wedding, so, uh, yeah. A lot, of different, a, lot of, a lot of different Ed Sheeran songs are playing as well. It's kind of oh, I'm weird. telling you, yeah. he dominates the wedding playlist. Yeah. I'm messing around with an S for this one. I think it's an S as well. Mm -hmm. And this is at a different part of the wedding. Oh, yeah. This is the reception. Oh, yeah. This is when they burn the bride's dress and she puts on the groom's tuxedo. What are you talking about? That happens at the end. That, they, they, I don't know, man. Maybe I leave weddings early or something. <laughs> that happens at the end. You don't know oh that? Oh my god, dude. The weddings I go to are so boring. Both parents walk a tiki torch down the aisle and ignite the bottom of the bride's dress and she's kind of hoisted out of the dress and put into the groom's tuxedo. <laughs> he then naked rolls around in butter and honey and coats himself in feathers and almonds and climbs up a tree and does the old mating call that the pagans taught us. Cook, cook, choo. <laughs> be my wife, be my wife. And then they go off in like an old car with cans on it or whatever. Okay, now I remember that part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember the cans part. Your problem is the open bar. You cannot hold your liquor, That's man. True, you get so. absolutely <laughs> crazy at weddings. I really remember most weddings I've been to. Yeah. I met a girl on Facebook dating. Mm -hmm. We meet up in a Zuckerberg. Who are the twins who worked on Facebook too? Winkle Voss. Winkle Voss. It's gonna be tough. <laughs> she come over to my space and we took a Napster. <laughs> That's stupid. I found her G Spotify. <laughs> she iTunes when I listen. What? <laughs> I don't know. Why are you saying what to me? I didn't say it. You said it, not me. What the hell's going on, man? She bear share on my ball sack. What? what? <laughs> I'm so what that I'm mean? confused. What are you even? Why are you confused the moment you say it? You're looking at me like I said it. Look at she this. pirate bay when I choke her. What the heck? Dude, what? You got. Oh, what? This is my favorite list yet. <laughs> These are truly essentials. Well, you could live off this for the rest of your life. You could not. Sure. There's no water in there. How do you think the coal is a liquid? Well, okay, sure, <laughs> fine, whatever. And then you can eat the soap and you can clean yourself with the Eggos and you use the Kool-Aid to summon the Kool-Aid man if you ever find yourself in a pinch. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. You've never <sighs> emptied out a Kool-Aid packet, made a pentagram, slit your wrists over it, and squeezed out a little blood, and then poof, 
Kool-Aid Man appears and you can give him one task, kind of like a me seeks, but more satanic. Yeah. And then he'll yeah. take care of that task, mm -hmm. top you off, and then he's gone for the night. Just the way you navigate life, kind of your touch points are not similar to mine. It's becoming hard to be relatable to you. You've never done that. No, I've never made a pentagram out of Kool-Aid powder. Summon the Kool-Aid man so he can come here. I give him one task. He goes and does it, then tops me off, and he's on his way. No, that's never happened to me. Did you fucking drink it? Yeah, sometimes I drink Kool-Aid. He doesn't show up if you drink it. Don't I, you have something he could do? I, I'm I, <laughs> He's so sorry. I've never been in a pinch and thought, "Hey, I really wish the Kool Aid Man was here he to has... do one task for me, then give me a blowjob." Think, man. He's infinite strength. He knows like forty languages. He's merciless. He'll kill babies, old women, whatever is in his way. He'll destroy them. Listen, he can't be linked to the crime. I'm... You're off the hook. Listen, I'm happy for you, man. I like that you have a life that is so exciting and vibrant, but my Mine is just not relatable, so I'd like to get, just get back to the game. Whatever, I know this one anyway. Three, two, one. I put Not Afraid by Eminem. I put Drake Views! I put Without Me by Eminem. I think Riley got it. This is Till I Collapse by oh. Eminem. Oh, fuck! Oh my god, holy shit. I'm sorry, Em. I should have never tried so <laughs> Now, wait a minute. That sounded like David Lynch. <laughs> it did sound like David Lynch. Low key. Never thought it'd come to this low. <laughs> this is like your freaky art teacher. You find out they make music and like you're showing your class this. You're yeah. Like, Dude, this is Mr. Ritherspoon's music. He's messed up. The video is like a live thing of him playing piano and like a leather jacket. And he's like losing his mind. <laughs> he walks in and he's like wiping tears off his face in a suit. And he's like... Get out your sketchbooks. <laughs> it's all right, Ritherspoon. We know you're an artist. Express yourself. Just like you're trying to teach us. Yeah, the progressive kids of now are, <laughs> yeah. are like, dude, we love it. Yeah. Even if it's not successful, man, like you should make art. That's not what art's for, man. Don't fall into the capitalist system and think that art should only be incentivized by money, man. Like we love that you're doing it. The troubled kid stands up in the back and is like, Mr. Ritherspoon, you told me on day one of class that I have the autonomy to create original pieces of art that only I can make. Make. And now I want to say those words to you. And he's like, thank you, Tommy Flash. <laughs> All of a sudden, is, it's is like, that the same voice yeah. as the kid? <laughs> thank you, Tommy Flash. <laughs> and then Tommy Flash is like, I have a confession to make. I also make music. Here's my song. <laughs> and then he plays it in front of the entire class. And it's like the same song. <laughs> it's like just the same no, setup. The same song. Exactly. <laughs> Someone else stands up. He's the captain of the football team. He's got a ball in his hand. I make music too. I got, I got a confession too. I'm not just some dumb jock. I make music too. And it's like, every time someone confesses that they make music, it's the same song, but it starts like a half second later and they all start playing at the same time. It's like this confusing cacophony of sounds. And every single one is the same video setup, but it's the person that stood up. So they're like at the piano, like like in a leather jacket, like blah, blah, blah. The vi same video keeps playing. The principal walks in, what the hell's going on in here? Principal Johnson, we're just talking about how everybody has the autonomy to create art that only they can make. And about how money shouldn't incentivize those things. And then Principal Johnson's like, I have a confession to make class. <laughs> Takes off his blazer, the leather jacket's on underneath. <laughs> I make music too. <laughs> Never gonna start again. And we call the movie High School Musical. <laughs> 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 it was a little bit Nathan Fielder inspired, but hey, you know, chili at a hockey game, hot dogs at a Miami Dolphins game, I assume. Why do you assume Dolphins? Because you are you think that you're close friends with Dan Marino. I have been hanging out with him a lot lately, yeah, and, not, I, uh -uh. and I can only hope that he would consider me a close friend because he has gotten quite close to my heart. His whole family, really. I know, yeah, the Marinos, yeah. The, yeah, the Marinos. <laughs> they live in Jupiter, Florida, or they have one of their homes there, yeah. and that's where they've been spending a lot of time. He invited me to go golf. I'm going to golf with him and his wife 
Tripsy. Tripsy Marino. They fell in love in college before the NFL money. That's how you know it's real. Okay. He's still got it a little bit too. I was running slants for him the other day. <laughs> How'd that go? I didn't drop a ball despite his velocity bruising and breaking several of my fingers. How does it how do they look now? <laughs> yeah, he's still got it. You didn't play pool last weekend. I was at Dan Marino's house in Jupiter, Florida. <laughs> His daughter, Kelsey, was home from college. She actually told me a lot about Brown University, where she's going. And no, it's not because the Marino family legacy. She's very bright. Yeah, and Brown is across the street from RISD in Rhode Island. It's a got- long way from Jupiter, Florida. You can understand how happy she was to be home with her loving and supporting parents. Yeah. yeah. And how lucky I was to be at that table Yeah, no, with I- the family reunited after a while. Mrs. Marino is actually having a bit of empty nester syndrome. She's struggling to find hobbies or things to fill her time. She feels the void of her kids going away and growing up and Dan only knows football (laughs) (laughs) he's a very bad husband but a good friend nice nice guy stressing out about the bullshit what are you gonna spend your last days doing fucking golfing reading poetry and hanging out with my new friend Dan Marino I just find it very hard to believe but he's welcomed me into his life despite his major celebrity and tons of fans worldwide he needed a buddy (laughs) I was there right when he needed him. Lucky you. Now, we're best pals. Hey, good luck with your friend Dan. Wait till he sees this. Let's go, Dolphins. See what I'm saying? All you do is associate him with his playing career. He's so much more than that. Okay, whatever. I just think he might think that it's cool. He finger paints with watercolors. Do you know how fucking hard that is? No, I actually, that seems impossible. Yeah, he's amazing. We're going into the last one, okay? No more stories. No more Mark Cuban shark attacks. No more Dan Marino. Stop. No more new tree in Topeka, Kansas. (laughs) The Dan Marino thing's not a bit. I don't care what's a bit and what's not. He's the only person who's loved me for who I am. (laughs) You might be right. All right. (laughs) So you do believe me. Will Ferrell. I went to his quinceanera. (laughs) Yeah. I'm going to talk about my new friend Dan Marino this whole episode. We know. I saw a hyena eat another animal at the zoo today. (laughs) <laughs> Today? Yeah, broke into the penguin exhibit and shredded a few of them little penguins up. They had no chance. Okay, let me, I just have to ask a question. So far today, you've gone golfing with Dan Marino? <laughs> Jupiter, Florida. In Florida. <laughs> yeah, the course is called Whispering Pines. And then you went to the zoo and watched a hyena devour a bunch of penguins. Yep. And then you came here to film. Yeah. It is 1.49 p.m. Eastern. Yeah. The zoo was on the west coast the zoo was on the west coast yeah. the golf game was in fucking jupiter florida yeah, whispering pines and yeah. then we filmed this in detroit whispering pines actually had the the female collegiate championship there last year it's a good track it's public but it they keep it very tight it's nice i Gre- don't care about whispering pines <laughs> the greens are super true it's almost pga level i don't give a shit i'm trying to figure out your schedule how does this work dan birdied three of the first four holes he was on a heater yeah i don't care about dan and then he had a few too many beers and he got carried away and he said some things that he might end up regretting. You know what? <laughs> what? I didn't have anything against Dan Marino before <laughs> this whole thing, Thanks. but I really hope he dies. Like, I'm serious. <laughs> and not because you're in the will you're or just, whatever you said. I don't give a shit about that. I just hope he dies. Like, just jealous. Soon, you know? You're just jealous. I'm not jealous of Dan Marino. You could never birdie three of the first four holes at Whispering Pines. Hole two is like a 185-yard par three over the water. Do you even have a club for that? What are you going to hit? Driver? I mean, Dan hit a six iron and he held back on it. Let me guess. Next is going to be like Outback Steakhouse and Bloomin' Onions or whatever. It's actually funny you brought up Outback Steakhouse. Why? It's where we took a tambourine for his birthday. Who's tambourine? (laughs) Don't tell me. It's Dan's youngest child. Tambourine Marino? (laughs) You're telling me Dan Marino has a son named Tambourine? (laughs) Yeah. I'm supposed to believe that? For sure. They call him Tamborino. Yeah, no. It's a nice name. You know what? Fuck you. I'm Googling this shit. Dan Marino. Well, it's not going to come up on Google, of course What not. do you mean? <laughs> Holy shit, he's got seven kids. Yeah, I know. We got Chloe Savater, Michael Joseph Marino, Daniel Charles Marino, mm-hmm. Nikki Lynn Marino, Leah Marino, Joseph Donald Marino, and... 
Tambourine. Tam- tambourine Marino. What yeah. the hell? And he, yeah, we went to Outback Steakhouse for his birthday. I cannot believe what I'm saying. Tambourine Marino. Tambourino. What? The? It's not that weird, man. Famous I just, people name their kids weird things all the time. I know. It's just more like I didn't expect anything you said to be true because I thought this whole Dan Marino thing was a big farce. No. You've really been hanging out with Dan Marino? <laughs> yes. You can you can say it's cool now. It is pretty cool. Yes. After I was an Il Molino, a Soto Soto just talking women in vino. The contract like 90. Dan Marino! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just get excited. Our other co-host Dignan, he's really he's good friends with Dan Marino. Oh, he's told you about that? He won't shut up about it, honestly. Ah, I was gonna tell you, I'm so excited. Yeah, one of my close friends who works on this show sometimes. Yeah, he's recently become friends with. That's cool. That's cool. He's sharing that with you. I, mean, I guess it's annoying. I'll tell you that much. If you started hanging out with Paul Abdul, oh, of American Idol, yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it'd be it, sick. That'd be so fun. Yeah, and you wouldn't stop talking about it. I know. It's just that if I didn't start hanging out with Paul Abdul and just said I was, and then said a bunch of ridiculous stories about her, it would be annoying, right? Are you implying something here? It's not a super believable story that he is friends with former Miami Dolphins quarterback and NFL legend Dan Marino. But we're all going over to his house this weekend for a cookout. If you want to come so you can prove, I don't know what you need. Like, why are you doubting him? It's whatever, dude. It's- I, okay, sorry. Yeah, we're, we're getting too lost in this. Kind of reminds me of um, uh, Dan Marino. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Who the fuck's Dan Marino? That's a funny name. <laughs> <laughs> Marino. It's almost like it's like Marina. It's kind of funny that you play for the Dolphins. Marino. You know, play for the Dolphins. You're acting weird lately. <laughs> Me? I'm acting weird. I tell you, I had a severe head injury last night. You did. Yeah. How? What Slow happened? pitch softball. Slow pitch softball, huh? Yeah. I umpire for the kids in the slow pitch game. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, one of them just got. He really wound up for one, and he cracked me. Need more information? There's no physics to this. What is going on? He was facing the wrong way, and he said a bunch of mean shit to me. He said, I no way I struck out there. And then he cracked me with a bat. Cracked you with a bat? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. I've forgotten a lot of stuff. Yeah, it seems like it. I'm sorry, man. I just, it was a really bad injury. I wish he hit it a little harder. Mm. What the? Wow. Oh my God, what a gruesome injury. You can't put that on TV. And where does a girl push-up fall into all of this? A girl push-up? You know, that has been like a conspiracy I've been wondering about for a long time. Yeah, sure. How they came up with the girl push-up and sold it to women as like an alternative. And hey. That's just not the case. Either way, I'm glad they came up with it because I love a girl and a push-up. You know what I mean? I was going to say, push them girls up. You know what I mean? It's disgusting. What? It's Big bazonga hongas? There's nothing, there's nothing, nothing wrong disgusting with about no, bahamba just, chumbies. No. I, <laughs> just for some reason, the fact that you like like picturing other girls with boobs. I'm not other girls with boobs. Like when I when we say things like crankle anchors or <laughs> flappy drappies, in my mind, it is literally a black background, and from the foreground <laughs> comes a rack. And it is just that. Yeah. No head, no torso. Nothing. nothing. It is a <laughs> And and the edges of it, I'm describing it to you just as I'm seeing it. Just a blurry edge around it. It's kind of like this. And then it's just boobies right there. And that. But whose are they, Graydon? I don't know. Who the fuck is that? Who is this? It's the universe. It's the universal. What the hell? Cramba Drambos. I don't know. Yeah. They just come floating to me. I see them. If I see you picturing her again. Don't call I'm gonna her. find her family and I'm gonna oh. tell them what's been going on. Oh yeah! Don't you fucking dare! Oh, yeah. Stop it! I'm going in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. Like, it's gonna be sick, actually. Here I go. <laughs> what are you plucking your nose for? They're huge. I can't <laughs> breathe in there. Diggy can't keep getting skunked, or I'm gonna go goose mode on you. Goose mode? What's yeah, that? that's if I have zero points through the first three questions, I'm gonna start honking and flapping at you like a goose. What? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Ugh. You're not gonna like it. I do not wanna see goose mode. Yeah, I'm gonna poop all over the studio, too. What the hell? It's what goo- the goose does. I'm going goose mode. Three, two, one. I put take my breath and starry eyes. I put out of time and best friends. It is sacrifice and don't break my heart. Really? Yes. Sacrifice is number one? By a long shot, too. Oh my gosh, and Don't Break My Heart is my favorite song on the album. It's Out of Time and Don't Break My Heart are my two favorites. Mm -hmm. That's so crazy. Oh, fuck. (laughs) Oh, that's that's not even a haunt. (laughs) Oh my god, that's like a screech. (laughs) What the fuck? 
Oh, jeez. It's like a pterodactyl mode. Oh, my God. I didn't know geese were so fat. I gotta say, I'm not a fan of goose mode, man. I don't know. Neither am I. I don't like this either. All right? I wish I got some of the questions right. Oh, Jesus. 9 to 11. And you know what that calls for. A 9-11 challenge. Grant, pass me that toy plane. I still think this is an insensitive bit. You Hold up both mean? your arms, Riley. Play along. What is this, 90s Conan? It's like, I don't think so, man. <laughs> Wait. It takes a while for the jet fuel to match the steel beams. Okay, fine. Oh my god, that fire looks pretty bad up there. I hope another doesn't... Whoa! <laughs> Honey, man, I don't think this is a good idea, man. All right, now make a pentagon with your hands. <sighs> Should we scramble the fighter jets, General? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I hit the wall! I barely did damage! I don't even know if anybody died besides the people on the plane! All right, Riley, there'll be a field in Pennsylvania. <laughs> this is our plane. You're not going to take this to the White House. <laughs> Wait, where's the black box? Why is nothing left of it? Oh my God! What a terrible day for America! But it ends up uniting us all. And now Grant is gonna be George W. Bush and he's gonna throw out the first pitch at the Yankees' next home game in New York. The place is gonna go ballistic. I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. And you are Graydon? Sammy. Your home address is 1256. Jesus, how'd you know that? <laughs> well, you're grading from hive mind. We have to know. Oh, God. Tell my parents to hide. <laughs> they're getting swatted. Nardwar <laughs> swatted my parents. <laughs> now they're in a Colombian prison. January 8th, 1998. Oh, no. How'd you... I didn't kill him. I thought I settled this in court. <laughs> what the... Vehicular? <laughs> oh, no. Um, Vehicular? I wasn't drunk. I was buzzed. 1.1. <laughs> <laughs> Blood alcohol, yeah. BAC. Yeah, yeah, that's right, BAC. Who jogs at midnight? We weren't even wearing a reflector. Nissan. Oh, uh, yeah, it was an Altima, I guess. It was, it was my new Altima. I just leased it. Six fractures. Yeah, I got six fractures in my forearms after putting the person out of their misery, yeah. And you are? <laughs> Gr Graydon from Hivemind, yeah. Thanks, Nardwar. This has been a super good interview. Keep on rocking in the free ride. I don't want to keep that. <laughs> if I ever get interviewed by Nardwar, I'm going to piss my pants during the interview. That's a promise to you, my fans. <laughs> Do you ever just wonder what it would feel like to hit somebody with a bat? Like... Just the sensation of it. Obviously, you know, I'm saying like, there's nobody in particular I want to hit. I don't want to hurt anybody. I'm saying like, what would that feel like on your hands? You ever hit a mailbox with a bat? Yeah, it hurts. Right. It like shakes your, your hands yeah. like vibrate. You feel like you got electrocuted mm -hmm. if you do it. Yeah. <laughs> if you do it right. Because <laughs> you really got to knock that thing over. <laughs> yeah. Think about hitting a person with that. It would just, oh, that blunt force trauma. I mean, oh boy, would it be satisfying? Maybe? I've done it with a golf club and let me tell you, yes. Oh, wait, you hit somebody with a golf club? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, my high school bully. Oh. It was last week, but he had it coming. <laughs> Dude, you are in your late 30s. He had it coming. He's Did he see it coming? No. Oh, no. He was asleep. Oh, <laughs> God. Well, and like the courses are closed. I got to keep my swing loose for the season. I like the idea of you walking into a dark bedroom where your high school bully is sleeping and you turn to your caddy and you're like, what do you think? Nine iron? <laughs> He had 156 <laughs> yards of the window. No breeze. It's 73 degrees in his house. Give me the pitching wedge. He's like, I don't think you can get it there. Give me the pitching wedge. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. Hand me my putter. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna finish him off with a little tap. <laughs> You pick the ball out of his mouth, tip your cap to his wife, and leave the house. The kids. <laughs> his kids are like, he was a dick anyway, thanks. <laughs> what would happen if society went total Xanarchy? <laughs> Here we go. She was never in a good relationship, so she never learned how it felt to be cared about or appreciated. She learned the opposite and she acted on what she knew. This is how to love. <laughs> you know what's weird? Huh. British 9-11 is November 9th. <laughs> yeah, the day goes before the month. Oh no, what a tragedy. At least the tea's warm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't want to do characters of British people. Do you hear the new Radiohead album? Me neither, I was listening to Adele. <laughs> <laughs> Adele's British? She's Jamaican, but yeah. Huh. She's Jamaican me British. <laughs>
with how good her music is. You know what I mean? <laughs> Adele is Jamaican me British because her music's so fucking. <laughs> What don't you get? No, I get it. I was laughing. For some reason that took me to like imagine like a children's hospital, a bunch of terminally ill kids, and like a doctor comes in and is like, you know what's gonna Jamaican you kids feel better? Adele's here to sing a song. They like wheel her in in a piano. She like plays the kids. Why would the doctor make the Jamaican joke there? Because <laughs> the kids think it's funny, and laughter is a big part of healing. <laughs> and like an MC will often break the ice of the crowd with a joke before introducing the serious act. Yeah, but like the, the <laughs> Jamaican is like you're making or she's making. She's like, gonna make the like, kids feel better. I know, but he's a, and she's, she's Jamaican. Ja, she's Jamaican. <laughs> yeah, she's here. To, she's here to Jamaican. You feel British? <laughs> feel better? Oh, sorry. Either way, it still doesn't make any grammatical <laughs> sense. Today, kids, we got a special surprise for you. British and Jamaican star Adele is here to Jamaica. You feel better. <laughs> And then he lights up a spliff. Yeah, this makes even less sense. <laughs> well, he's doing a Bob four. Marley nod. Oh! <laughs> I mean, he's only got like 30 seconds. He's got to get all his jokes off. Last place I saw my kids, <laughs> Wendy's. <laughs> if anyone's seen him, I went that way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I put a one already next to mine. I guess I was seeing the future. Huh? I'm seeing future next month. Are you really? Yeah. Where? Rolling Loud uh, North Pole. Rolling Loud North Pole? Tro! <laughs> That's where I'm seeing it. They're doing a Rolling Loud North Pole. North Pole. Yeah, I'm about to get crazy with some elves. <laughs> <laughs> you think the elves are going to be there? If you sleep with them, you become immortal. <laughs> if you sleep... What, what do you mean? Wait, 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 wait. You mean sleep with them like... Procreate? Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> and you become immortal, not like your child, your spawn? Tro! <laughs> I, I'm so confused. What? Yep. So wait. Rolling Loud North Pole. So you're going to Rolling Loud North Pole specifically to try to procreate no. with elves to become no. immortal? Or are you no. just giving me a fact? Yeah, I'm just letting you know if I am so lucky to be involved in one of the legendary elf orgies of Rolling Loud North Pole. It's kind of like Burning Man, but with snow. <laughs> and there's like a freaky dome that you can go into and get freaky. A freaky dome? Yeah, that's what it's like at Burning Man. There's like a dome. No, I know. The I just, orgy yeah. dome. Everyone knows the notorious orgy dome, but it's like that. I guess it's kind of an igloo, you could say. <laughs> You're right. going the freaky elf igloo, and you get all sorts of... And then, <laughs> bang, next thing you know, you get to live forever. <laughs> Unless you die in combat. You can die in combat. Is everyone... They can't rob you of a hero's death. <laughs> so so that's you, always you, an You option. can only die valiantly. <laughs> Correct. I like simple tasks nowadays. Uh, this helps me clear my mind, get right. I'm on the lawn with my bare hands, making a fire in my backyard to heat up my bath water for my wife and I. Run getting stamps from the post office. Don't even gotta ship anything. <clears throat> Just like stamps. Like to keep up on which government holidays are coming up too, and the stamps often replicate those mm -hmm. oncoming government holidays. Polishing my hammer. That's a good one. I don't think you can say that one anymore these days. The kids are using that phrase for something else. I don't keep up with that stuff. I've been too busy polishing my hammer. <laughs> I polish my hammer at work. On the weekends, I polish my hammer as well. Out in public, I'll polish my hammer. Maybe you want to try greasing your wrench. Jacking off at the baseball stadium. <laughs> You know, the simple stuff. Calling in bomb threats to my kid's middle school just so I get to spend the day with him. Printing out pictures of all my female coworkers. <laughs> burning them. <laughs> it's really the simple things in life. It really is. That will bring you back to earth. <laughs> that is so true, Graydon. Mm -hmm. Offering a helping hand to the guy at the gas station who seems homeless and beating the absolute dog crap out of him.
that was Yo, awesome. Get oh. him on the channel. That, Whoever did that. Here. That was so Bring good. Bring him on here. You think Nick Cannon can name all his kids? Probably not. You're right. So, here, Ooh. rest my case. He needs to make it a baker's dozen. You referring to the woman's womb as an oven again? You think that's cute? <laughs> I didn't say oven. You said baker's dozen. So who's making the babies? Nick. Mm -hmm. Giving him a little more credit than he deserves, I believe. Shoot or shoot, man. And women nurture. Well, <laughs> they can. Yeah. Can do a lot of other things. They cook the baby up in their baby gut oven. Okay, baby gut oven. Somehow. In their gut oven. And I'm the disrespectful one somehow. Honey, let's preheat that thing to 350. I'm about to come inside you. You know what I mean? That's what. <laughs> okay. You know when people say they're trying for a baby? Yeah. It's yeah. always cute and it's always in like a sure. kind of sophisticated. Sorry, I'm going to take this. Oh, yeah, sorry, it's yeah. a great, great. No, um, go ahead. It's kind of like a dinner party. Uh huh. And you have your. 30 something year old friends over. Oh no, we're actually. We're trying. We're trying for one. We're actually trying right now. That yeah. means he's creaming inside of me and we're having sex all the time. That's yeah. what that means. Or they got the apps and they're only having sex on the days where it tells we you. We are timing up my ovulation and he's trying to sneak in a blast into that little <laughs> magic window. Yeah. When that revolving doors slot machine windows open, he's trying to come up in my guts. Yeah. And we're going to cook a baby. In this bitch. And if he does that maybe 30 to 60 times with no results, they'll both go to the doctor and go, which one's broken? Yeah. Either his spunk is gunk or her eggs are scrambled. Yeah. Sometimes it's both. You got spunk, gunk, and scrambled eggs. And uh. what are you doing mashing those together? You might as well just watch a movie. <laughs> yeah. Something sexy about when he's younger than his daughter. Next. Next. There's something sexy about a father who's younger than his kid. You know what I mean? Yikes. No one else? Never thought that. I'm glad they didn't Back to the Future it, though. I'm glad they didn't hook uh, up. Uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Do they hook up? I'm, I'm See, just saying, scene, I don't know. The scene kind of ends abruptly. It's we don't true. know what happened mm. in, that, in that hospital room. It's kind of like Inception. You don't know if the top stops or whatever, the you know? Stops. <laughs> 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 Want to hear my Steve-O impression I've been working on? Hey, guys. <laughs> Knoxville wanted to shoot me in the head with a 50 caliber rifle, I knew we had to take it up another notch. And after Bam killed his whole family for Jackass 14, I knew we'd have to go wild. So this time, I attached dynamite to my ball sack. I mean, that shit blew my little boys to smithereens. I mean, for Jackass 2, I was on crack cocaine. I was listening to Metallica in my trailer nonstop on a 24 hour loop. And so when Spike Jones suggested that I raw dogged his wife, I just had to. Come on, man. I was filling condoms with poop. It's not bad, right? God damn. <laughs> Did you hear about Steve O's wife? No. Now she is a merry prankster. What do you think? I don't like it. Why? She's a merry prankster. She married a prankster. Yeah, exactly. She's a married prankster. No, she she might not be a prankster. Exactly. But she married a prankster. She married prankster. Yeah, she married. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's rough, man. <laughs> Whatever. I've loved you ever since I first met you in college when you were doing a keg stand. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your butthole from the back and I said, that's going to be my wife. <laughs> You had a little tattoo of Garfield smoking a doobie. Said, man, that's rad. <laughs> One day on the quad, you covered yourself in wet cement and you ran up to the dean and high-fived him in the ass. <laughs> Said, holy smokes, this woman's radical. And when I found out your dad was the dictator of Venezuela, it was a done deal. <laughs> Does he have a wife? Yeah, she's vegan. That's <laughs> all. <laughs> 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 what the hell? <laughs> Watch how I bow when I dump through these figures. Fifties and hundreds, they good for my health. I want it all, you can't eat off my vision. I just instantly saw the caption, like this song, and then you can hear the pain in his voice. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you can hear the pain in his voice. OGs are commenting like, yep, finally, real music. A peep at Tobias's minutes here. Oh my gosh. Almost 300K in minutes. Well, it's much closer to 200K. Yeah, 205,786 minutes precisely. What's the percentage of the year that that is? It's gotta be more than 50%. Oh, it is. I think there's only like 300,000 minutes in a year. No. Oh, Grant's looked it up for us. How many minutes in a year? 525,600 minutes. 
Why did you sing that to me? What How do you measure, measure a year? Usually in weeks. In daylight, in sunsets, in sunsets, in cups of coffee. Midnights in cups of coffee. But again, See, where's where, this song coming from? What do you from? mean? Why are you, how do you know the lyrics? Well, that here? word would just fit there. In midnights and cups of coffee. Why are you singing it like a gay bohemian New Yorker? 525,600 minutes. Man, they were singing like the rent was due in that one. <laughs> you don't even appreciate theater. Here we go. Lean is your friend, even if hoes aren't. Wow. No, this is kind of deep. Huh. Wow. Lean in my cup. She left me for Ted. What did you say? What? <laughs> who's Ted? Some guy she worked with said they were just friends. She? Who's she? Who are you talking about? <sighs> Mitchell. Mitchell? Mm -hmm. And that was a, a girl, a woman's name? Are you sure? How is it spelled? Because <laughs> I hate to do this, but I feel like it might have been Michelle. M I T C H hyphen L. <laughs> Capital. <laughs> I think she was Scottish. Mitch, beautiful, Mitch beautiful L. woman. Okay. Hell of a rapper too. She worked at <laughs> she worked at a Hertz rent a car, and she left me for tech. This is the strangest person I've ever heard of. She said, "Baby, quit drinking that lean." And then she left me for Ted. Mm -hmm. Guess what I did? What? Poured up a double. <laughs> Two caps. And I drank it in beer. Oh my gosh. Lean in my 40s. I just need a check. I want to retire. Right, totally. Right. Yeah. Wife needs a new nose. A kid needs a new nose. Why'd you get... <laughs> <laughs> my you... kid's kid needs a new nose. Why'd you get a new nose first and then... Wait, did you say your wife's nose? Yeah. Didn't your wife leave you like two bits ago? I got a new wife. You got a new wife already? Yeah, she's ugly with a bird-ass bird, bird ass nose and so she's got to get rid of it. Why are you sulking over your ex if you have a new wife? Because Mitch L. was hot. My new wife has a bird beak on her face. <laughs> I used her to procreate. Wait. Subsequently, <laughs> the, the kids have her bird beak. Kids? <laughs> now you have a new wife and you already have <laughs> multiple kids. That's why I got the new wife. I wanted to procreate, Riley. I wanted to spread my seed. When did Mitch L. leave you? 98 or something? 98? <laughs> it was oh right around the time God. Dan retired. Jesus, man. My new wife's a bitch. Ted might not even be alive at this point. I don't care. I'm over that, that point in my life. You're not. You Two bits ago, you were sulking about she it. She was beautiful, okay? She was the manager at a Hertz rent-a-car. You realize what kind of benefits that comes with? Any city I went to, 60% off, top of the line, sports cars, for the weekend. I mean, that sounds awesome, but it doesn't seem like something... She couldn't bear my children. She had her own biological issues. It was a tragedy. She really wanted kids, too. I feel awful for her. But her and Ted, last I heard, adopted. Four orphans. Four orphans. <laughs> Four dolphins without parents. No. Four orphans, porpoises. <laughs> porpoises, orphans. <laughs> Four fins that are porpoises. This is Those are four fins that are porpoises. I'm just saying, okay, back to my original point. If you're traveling abroad this summer, take a carbon monoxide detector because a lot of these Airbnbs in other countries don't check for that. And they always assume Americans are sleepy anyway, so they don't take your symptoms. <laughs> Seriously. They just got finished eating a bunch of McDonald's. So. Oh, you fat fucks. Go take a nap. You're not sick. You ate two Big Macs and shot up a school. Of course you're tired. You want to make it interesting? I don't think there's any way to make this interesting anymore. You know what I mean? I guess. Doesn't it just kind of feel like we've lost the, lost it? You can do jumping jack on a skateboard. See? Like, I'm sure there's some people out there that are watching right now that they're like, wow, they, that's what they've resorted to is like Graydon doing a rat face. <laughs> saying that he'll do a jumping jack on a skateboard. It's like physical comedy without actually doing it. Just kind of implying physical, okay. And there is some physical comedy, but. I'm sure there's people out there that would be really excited to see me do a jumping jack on a skateboard. They'd I mean, probably yeah, waiting but for it. there's probably a lot of people who think that the magic is gone. <laughs> oh, it makes my nose itch. <laughs> it still kind of itches. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're like itches and tickles. <laughs> How do rats do it all day? What the hell is hand, foot, and mouth disease? You ever heard of that with yeah. babies? Yeah, hand, mouth, foot, and mouth yeah. disease. Yeah. Isn't it? It's just like a bacterial infection, I believe. It's like warts or something. Hand, foot, and mouth disease. If my kid gets that... You're going to kill yourself if your kid gets sick? No. <laughs> oh. Kill my wife. <laughs> In an elaborate way, then. I'll never be able to catch you. Yeah, I'll maintain my yeah. freedom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, I mean, the biggest trick I could do is convince her to kill herself. <laughs> Ruin the marriage. Pretend to abuse the kid. Get the kid roped in on it. 
Like, you like this. When mommy's gone, there will be no rules. You want no rules, don't you? There's too many rules around here. Aren't you sick of all these rules in this house? <laughs> this is literally like insidious designs. Yeah, I know. I'm not going to actually do it either, man. I was just testing the murky, dark waters of comedy, pushing boundaries. <laughs> I'm going to marry a congresswoman and convince her to kill herself. <laughs> one after another until my militia of well-trained primates can raid the White House. And lower interest rates this time. When I train them, they'll lower the rates. Convince a congresswoman. Marry a congresswoman and convince her to kill herself. It's pretty cool. Easier done than said, some people say. <laughs> Anybody yeah. can do that. But to say it now, that takes gusto. <laughs> All right, now we got Zamboni versus cracking your knuckles. I'll take cracking your knuckles. Every time you flip, I'm on the other side. It's it's really interesting. I'm going to go Zamboni here. Weird. I've never done it. I think that's what it comes down to. You've never cracked your knuckles? But you did earlier. Yeah, I guess you're right. What the fuck? I don't know. I don't really have... A <laughs> you forget the first half of the video? What happened to you? I don't really have like a strong reasoning for... I can tell. For choices. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. I'm just kind of going with the... I, it's like you don't even believe what you're saying right now. I guess I don't care. Oh, my God. Okay. I think that's the problem. It's not, I guess it's not a problem. I mean, it is a problem right now for the video. You can see it as a good thing. I no. Guess. No like, real way to look at it that way. Do, do it matter? Jesus Christ, wake the fuck up. I mean, sure, Zamboni. There are thousands of people watching right now. Hi. <laughs> How's it going? Hello. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? Which one do you want to win? Okay. <laughs> I'm voting Zamboni. I'll crack the knuckles. I'll crack my knuckles. Oh my gosh. See my K's. You're like if a human being was bred to be like the perfect camp counselor. Oh, you thank you, man. Yeah. yeah, I was a camp counselor. I got fired. <laughs> yeah. Why? Because I... Uh, what did you do? I tried to get my kids to kill some other kids. <laughs> we waged war on cabins. Yeah, we went too far. Yeah. I had a child army. I was with the the Joseph Coney of the YMCA. See, so then my point kind of stands. You were the goat. Yeah, that's you know true. Yeah. Like, yeah, not every so. camp counselor can say that. You that's know? true. I did get a kid to burn all of his belongings one time. <laughs> <laughs> and his parents were mad at me. They said, what did he do? And I said, it was for, it, he was, he was hyped. <laughs> Gunja man nice and a smoking in the parking lot. What? I need some pop. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mr. Beast, and today I'm gonna be pissing on someone's hat. <laughs> hey, old chap, let me see that cat. Oh no, what are you doing? Oh, I'm taking a whiz. What's it look like I'm doing? I had seven points. All right, I'm almost done. Here you go. Yeah. That's a crude British Mr. Beast. Ah, oh, whatever, it's Mr. Beast. Today, I'm giving away seven million quid. Whoever can eat the most beans out of this kettle. Hey, British Mr. Beast here. Last person to take their hand off this blood sausage wins 5,000 pounds. Little bit less than my other videos, but I'm out of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting cocktail weenies on bottle rockets and shooting them at old people. Watch this whistling willy go. <laughs> British Mr. Beast here, and yes, I am still out of ideas. Today we're going to be playing strip poker with the sidemen. <laughs> I'm introducing London to a little American fair. Today, I'll be doing a drive-by shooting on a double-decker bus. <laughs> Come on! Mr. Beast, back with another episode. Today, we're going to see which member of Coldplay can do the most ketamine. <laughs> I'm digging up the Queen's bones. I don't care who stands in my way. <laughs> I have more money than God. <laughs> Well, hello again, it's British Mr. Beast. Today we're dressing James Corden up like Adele and Adele up like James Corden. <laughs> Who's gonna be able to tell the difference? We'll see. It's a classic flip flop. <laughs> <laughs> he also has a speech impediment. <laughs> the name is Cranial, which makes me think that their original name is Branial? Branial, yeah. Which isn't it's a name be, either. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Granule. It's granule now. Mom, I told you I'm a crip. It's granule now. I'm a Grape Street crip. <laughs> I don't care if you need to be granule. I'm granule now. Your family's <laughs> having guests over. All right, Branyol's going through a little phase. He says he's a Grape Street crip. So if you could just call him Cranial, otherwise he's going to flip out and he'll ruin dinner. He comes downstairs waving a flag. He goes, what up, cut? <laughs> He's crib walking in like loafers. <laughs> the cool uncle's like, hey, Cran, show me that crib walk again. Let me try it. <laughs> Would you guys watch someone fight a bear if it was a really bad person? Oh, especially if it was a bad person, yeah. Okay. Would you watch someone fight a bear? Yes. Are you talking about in real life or on TV? In real life. In real life, yes. 
Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And by fight, I mean, obviously, like, I don't think it matters if it's a good or bad person. I want them to be strong and vigilant and oh. on crack because I feel like then okay. there's a shot, you know? Maybe. And they have like a metal pipe, maybe this big. Mm, no, that kills it for me. <laughs> Nothing? No, I want no one's to gonna win barehanded. Oh, I mean, that's hilarious. I love it. I mean, pause. Okay, for a second. What's gay about fighting a bear? <laughs> Nothing, just bare paws, hands. Oh, you know, paws, got it, yeah. yeah. Whole thing. yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo, chill. <laughs> bear it's paws. Sus. I mean, that's so sus to fight a bear. But uh, it's just more about the metal pipe part, like, takes it out of reality for me, because I want to picture that this is, like, ancient times. Oh, I yeah. I want it to be, like, a what caveman. If, what if you gave him symbols and <laughs> he could crack it over the, <laughs> crack it over his head? Yeah, he won me back with slapstick comedy. Yeah. I mean, a metal pipe, I'm like, all right, this is like an action movie or some Give shit. Give him a cake and some symbols. <laughs> 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 he gets on top of it. <laughs> yeah, he tweaks its nose. <laughs> <laughs> the bear's embarrassed. That's really... <laughs> you embarrassed him, you know? I piped a bear one time. Chill. France. Hey, yo. It was a oh, European that's... vacation. <laughs> they say I'm up and coming like I'm fucking in an elevator. <laughs> Never had elevator sex. It's too quick. Yeah, it's too quick. Absolutely. <laughs> it's way too quick. What do you do for the rest of the ride? <laughs> Three, two, one. Put Pierre Bourne. I put Tupac Shakur. This is Ed Sheeran. <laughs> what? Is that a joke? Ed Sheeran? Ed Sheeran said this. this is Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran said this. Yes. <laughs> In a song? No way. I need to hear this. What the <laughs> hell? So what is wrong with him? Hey, Mr. Sheeran, you got two new fans. <laughs> Up and coming? He's like the biggest artist in the world. When was this? This was off his first project, the orange cover. Oh my yeah. god. They say I'm up and coming like I'm fucking in an elevator. Cause you need me, man. Who was in the video? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Is that this wasn't Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Am I having Mandela effect? <laughs> Is this what Ed Sheeran looks like? I thought Ed Sheeran was more of a Ron from Harry Potter type character. And I thought he said stuff like, I'm in love with the shape of your body at the dirtiest, but this is crazy. Is this the stuff he was busking? Like, is this the stuff he was doing on the street in London? They say I'm up and coming like I'm fucking in an elevator. I'm gonna post a memoriam post for you. Like before? Yeah, before. I'm just gonna post it and then delete it like 20 minutes later. Be like, oops, found him. <laughs> Oh, sorry guys, he was in the kitchen. I just, I looked, I thought I looked everywhere. Livy Dunn. Baby Gronk raised her up. Did you see that? Stop. What? Stop what? When you talk all young, it's funny. Baby Gronk rizzed up <laughs> Livy Dunn at his visit to LSU. She reciprocated L. Riz. <laughs> yeah. Man, if the president can text everyone, why won't he text me back? I don't I don't know. He can text everyone whenever he wants and I can't get a fucking message back. It just seems crazy, doesn't it? No, it's like a dumb thought. Really? He has a machine that he can text everyone on. And I, I, he can't text me, what's up, dude? Because he just texts like, we're in trouble. If people don't get out to vote for the midterms or whatever, you know, yeah. that's the stuff he texts. And he's not good at texting, he's old as hell. Who's baby Gronk? <laughs> who's who's baby Gronk? Livy Dunn raised up by Astro Speed. <laughs> Good for speed. He finally met Ronaldo. That's a huge moment in Twitch history. He did the suey with with Ronaldo. Honestly, one of the best character arcs ever. XQC shouldn't have to apologize. He's got more money than Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy shit. Mr. Beast could have been on that submarine. <laughs> wow, he was actually invited. Now wait a minute. If Mr. Beast was invited on the submarine, why is the text blue? Blue is for the outgoing text, not the incoming. And now Curtis Connor says he was invited on the actual Titanic. That's just funny. He seems like a charming guy. I'm happy for him and his wife. Is Mike still on Impulsive? Oh, meant to text that into Google. I Spice carried the Barbie soundtrack. Wait a minute. Riley from Hobmon predicted the Ice Spice remix, Ice Spice Baby, with Tyga. Shouldn't he get royalties for that? I feel like he should get at least a songwriting credit on Spotify. In all caps, doing some weird ass kid is in the fragrance, or call or call or may or you may not be put to the eighth of for Hurricane Ida. <laughs> oh no, why you gotta bring the hurricane into it? The AI was off the henny for this one. <laughs> 
do you usually say stuff like that? The AI was off the handle. <laughs> <Like, just, laughs> that felt a little out of character. I like say that. What do you mean? Is I that like that new like, new album era? Stuff? No, no. I just say that like every day. I just talk about you know something's off the handle. Your dog <laughs> Hank is off. Look at him. He's sleeping right there. He's definitely off the handle. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Can you imagine getting head from a bird? That would fucking hurt. <laughs> Hurt the bird more. You imagine putting bird seed all over your thing, going outside and acting like you're a bird feeder? Dude. Wow, that would suck. Why would you? A squirrel gets up there too? Get out of here. Oh, I got something useful for the fans, actually. If you want to keep squirrels out of your bird feeder, you put a little capsaicin in there. Squirrels hate spice, and birds don't have taste buds. Capsaicin is in peppers. Somehow that ended up being kind of like a helpful little life. It is. No one wants squirrels stealing from their bird feeder. You want to sit and read a book and hopefully an Oriole or whatever local native exotic, colorful, beautiful aviary just stops by. Yeah. And if a squirrel's up there raiding your seed, you don't want that. So put a little capsaicin in the bird feeder. It'll keep the squirrels away. And birds don't really give a fuck. Just reminding you that the setup for this was yeah. you... Wondering what it would be like to get head from a bird. Well, yeah. And then that parlayed into making it a bird feeder. Yeah. Kind of pretend <laughs> one of those situations covered in bird seed. Yeah, no, totally. And then I imagined a squirrel going up there and I thought, ooh, that's bad because that's a rodent. They need to gnaw to keep their teeth down. Right. I don't want something gnawing on there. I was imagining at first just a little painful peck on my pecker. And then... <laughs> I just learned that information about the capsaicin last weekend from my lovely sister. And so I just thought I'd share that with the good folks at home. Oh, Mr. Bird Facts. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Don't. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Shut up, bird bitch. Don't. Oh. Seriously. Oh. Oh. Shut up, you old hag. Don't. Oh, my God. What can I say? You fucking woke leftist liberals are so fucking sensitive. <laughs> I don't know how to relate. What do they want? It's not about what they want. Just be yourself. <laughs> oh, fuck. Actually, no. Yeah. I just remember who you are. Don't <laughs> fuck, man. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> we haven't done that this be, whole time. Be somebody else, please. Okay. Why do they call drinking coffee sucking bean piss? Because <laughs> it's beans. Yeah. And you have to squeeze the piss out of them to get the coffee. And so when you slurp it and or suck it, mm. you're sucking bean piss. Yeah, I mean, I get that. It's just weird that they like put it on the, like the windows at Starbucks. Yeah. It'll be like, come suck bean piss here. <laughs> In cursive. Yeah. With like snowflakes. And yeah, stuff. and like <laughs> autumn leaves and stuff like that. It's like pumpkin spice bean piss is back. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Just, come suck it. Come suck it. <laughs> come suck our pumpkin pumpkin bean piss, you know? Come get this pumpkin bean piss. You fuck. Like, why do they say stuff like that? Hey, star fucks, come get some pumpkin bean piss. It's just odd. I've never really understood marketing, though. It's not really my strong suit, no. so. We're artists. Mm -hmm. May I ask the audience something? Go yeah. ahead. Not to sound vain or anything, what do you guys think about the short hair? You got, it was a, I got a new barber. It was, like, pretty short, and I feel like it reminds people of the old me. So I think, you know, I, I'm not sure if I've, like, really accepted my growth. I'm now trying to be my past self because I feel like, mm. you know, I'm, I'm trying to hold on to that and life is just passing me by. Yeah. So I'm thinking maybe if I cut my hair, it'll bring me back to that point. But was I even happy then? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. <laughs> Here's what I will say is that the search for the fountain of youth is a fruitless but lengthy journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And men always dress like their best years. So maybe you're just recognizing that your past self was your best self and you'll never be that good again and even each day, henceforth going forward, will be worse than the last. Yeah. Yeah, Father Time will leave you in the dust with boot prints right down your back. Mm -hmm. Flies tearing apart your carcass. Bruises on your ego, your heart, and your Johnson. Tried to play skee ball and my mom popped out of the middle hole. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. She said, you were a terrible son. And I was like, what the fuck, man? Were, I still am. <laughs> Word. <laughs> <laughs> Word. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Mom goes, you were a terrible son. You go, Word? <laughs> oh, Word. <laughs> Oh, word. Word. I did not know. I thought I was I. <laughs> That's a great thing to say at like an intervention too. Hey, listen, we've, we've all gathered here because we care about you. Oh, word? <laughs> Y'all care about me? Pass me a beer. <laughs> I did not guess Chris Stapleton. Stapleton's a weird last name, isn't it? Stapleton. Hey, Stapleton, get over here. Your big ass ought to be on the football team. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Stapleton, you get dropped on your head when you were a kid? Get over here. What would your mother think if I told her you were smoking Cubano cigars at lunch? You're in fucking it in eighth grade. Where the fuck did you get a box of premium Cubano cigars? <laughs> 
Stapleton, are these things from Cuba? <laughs> I mean, holy shit. These things are expensive as fuck. You're literally 13 years old. <laughs> I mean, I understand. You don't like the school lunches, but Cuban cigars? What the fuck, Stapleton? <laughs> Stapleton, I'm serious. Where did you get these? Your dad's not even around. I don't know who you took them from. Could you put one of my jokes in there? Like what? Scrunch fuckers at Fud Ruckers. <laughs> You're telling me these lunch suckers don't know suck punchers? <laughs> That's, can you just like text that to me? Like, Again. Yeah, yeah. Scrunch fuckers at FUD Ruckers? Yeah, I heard you. I You're don't... telling me that's lunch suckers? Ugh. What the hell? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's tough being it's just, funny, man. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm such you... a serious person. What? You just <sighs> threw together a bunch of syllables that sound similar. FUD Ruckers is a restaurant. I know. Scrunch fuckers are little guys scrunched up together. <laughs> so the scrunch fuckers are at FUD Ruckers. <laughs> You're telling me lunch suckers? That's a special they run on Wednesdays for lunch. And then the other word, I forgot what I said. <laughs> but it all worked together, I'm telling you. Punch, like sucker suck punchers. Yeah, yeah. Suck, punchers. suck punchers. Yeah. And that's like, I'll punch the scrunch fucked up guys if they eat all the <laughs> lunch specials. Yeah, okay. So that makes it a joke. Because <laughs> it works. I got five fucking points, dude. Honestly, I'm doing really fine in this game, and I have five points. You guys want to hear my pop smoke impression? Hey, welcome to the party. <laughs> I'm at the Money to I thought it could have been Whoopty for a second. I love that song. Whoopty, walked in, blue cheese, yeah. Look at my hands, poopy. <laughs> poopy, yeah, I'm addicted to poopy. <laughs> poop play. <laughs> I'm addicted to poop play. Shit stays. <laughs> yeah, I'm addicted to shit stays. <laughs> Shit stains. Yeah, I'm addicted to shit stains. <laughs> CJ's addicted to poop play just like Lou Reed was. Yeah. <laughs> they do call CJ the Lou Reed of Brooklyn Drill, so take a knife and drain your life. Drain. Drain! Drain, brother! <laughs> I'm at draining camp. It's super hard. <laughs> drain, private! Drain! Harder, private! Your mama raised you to drain like that? Love to play the victim. Do you think if our boys would have drained like that in World War II, we'd still be standing on American soil? Drain, private! Drain! Harder! Take pills, private! More pills! <laughs> Do Kratom, private! More jewelry, private! Earrings, necklace, pearls, lip rings, nose rings! Get out of the shower, private! That's not how you drain! You need to sweat and sleep in the sweat! And stick up every room you walk into if you're gonna wanna drain in my platoon! Enough neo-traditional tattoos, private! You need more sticking posts! <laughs> Drain! My grandfather survived the Holocaust. Your grandfather is in the Holocaust? Yeah, he had to dress up like a girl and uh, blend in basically throughout the entirety of it, yeah. Your grandfather slayed his way through the Holocaust? <laughs> he slayed and served? Yeah. This is a movie in oh the ratings. Oh my Boots girl. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Grandpa gave the Nazis cunt in order to avoid Oh my god, no, I don't. He served cunt to Hitler. No, dude, yeah. I don't think that's how that went. He demon dropped his way no. out of Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking sick. That, man. Nah, wow. man, that nah. wig was wigging. <laughs> Back rolls. You know what I'm saying? He was like eight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that kills the fun real quick, doesn't it? No, he ate. I mean, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> he ate his way out of Auschwitz. I hear what you're saying. <laughs> Holy shit. Just warmer and colder. Springtime or snow. Holy smokes. Dare I say we got another New Yorker on our hands? Every time I hear music like that, I understand old people a little more. Yeah. Like, I get it. When yep. I hear music like that, I'm like, damn, I need to listen to more shit like this. Yeah. You know? Or, like, I'm always, like, reminded that, oh, they, they did have fun. They yeah. did party down. Like, you hear it and you're like, it was just classier. But they were getting down to that. Yeah, they're like, just snorted another line off her ass. <laughs> she came over to my house, had to hide my cum rags. Let them have it, boys. <laughs> this is the best show on the internet. Come on. <laughs> she got a BBL. <laughs> I got a BB belt. <laughs> I will probably go my whole life and never see this. There's a lot of things I thought I'd go my whole life without seeing. And boy, oh boy, was I wrong. 
inflation, interest rates at 10%. Gas prices this high. The US dollar being worth more than the euro. A president falling asleep talking. <laughs> Shit, the Eagles being 8-0. <laughs> Donovan Mitchell in a Cavs jersey. Never thought I'd see that. Yep. My own cousin die in my own arms. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Uh, yeah. Crystal Pepsi coming back. I never thought I'd see that. <laughs> I For didn't real? Yeah, no, yeah, it's yeah. not. My it's uncle not. dying in my own arms. Oh, shit. Your the uncle day too. after my cousin died in my yeah. own arms. That yeah, stuff like that. seems like a coincidence. Uh-huh. Yeah. Flaming hot Mountain Dew. I mean, why are they, what are they selling out yeah, here? You know I what I mean? Know. Yeah, my aunt died in my <laughs> own Jesus. arms. Jesus. <laughs> the day after my uncle died, subsequently after my cousin died. Subsequently. Whatever. Like they were related. Have you, told, have you told anyone about this? I'm telling you guys right now. This doesn't seem like the right setting. No. Yeah. Maybe the police Dill station. pickle flavored Lay's. Yeah, right. Those Weird flavor. Yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Yeah. My grandpa dying in my own arms. <laughs> the day after my aunt died in my own arms, which is the day after my uncle died in my own arms, which is the day after my cousin died in my own arms. Yeah. You just got to chalk it up to bad luck. Yeah, at that point. It's just a, <laughs> that's a rough week, Riley. Yeah, it was, a, it was a tough one, you know. Electric cars. Wow, yeah. I never saw those never coming. Never saw those coming, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh-huh. That's, That's it? it? <laughs> That's all? You're done? That's all the crazy stuff? My infant son died. No! In my arms. The day after my grandpa died in my own arms was the day after my aunt died in my own arms was the day after my uncle died in my own arms was the day after my cousin died in my own arms. Wow. Well, you're extremely well adjusted for all the grief that oh. you've suffered in the yeah. Yeah. sometimes. And luckily, I have a big wingspan. I was holding a lot of people that fifth day. <laughs> that fifth day was like, oh my God. <laughs> Why were they piling on? Well, I mean, you can understand it'd be tough to... To let go. Yeah, to let go. Yeah. At least the last one was a baby. Oh, yeah. yeah. It kind of fit yeah. right on top. It was <laughs> almost like the cherry on top of, <laughs> God. of like, like family. family death Sunday. Yeah. God, that's morbid. Actually, well, it all happened Monday through Friday, so <laughs> yeah. Sunday, but... Yeah. Tough a lot of time weekend. to watch the game. Yeah, hey, still got to catch the Eagles. You know I mean? <laughs> it's a Juno sample, right? It's Juno. Correct. Yeah. Wasn't allowed to see that movie. Why? Michael Sarah told me not to. <laughs> oh, he didn't like his performance? <laughs> he said he was <laughs> said he was mid and he posted cringe. <laughs> <laughs> Really? He's yeah. very ahead of his time to say that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, that was like, like the early 2000s. <laughs> yeah. He said, Diggy boy, don't bother going seeing my new flick. It's mid and I posted cringe. I lost a lot of subs. There were L's in the chat. It was totally not based. It was sus. <laughs> yeah, it was a sussy <laughs> performance, honestly. <laughs> my performance was sus. So guess what? I'm pregnant. <laughs> if I had a nickel, you know what I mean? <laughs> How has no one guessed the big dog? Yeah. Go ahead. Show me Drake. That is the highest oh, answer yeah, for five yeah. points. Bang, baby! Let's go! See, Drake has remained the same level of problematic the whole time. Yeah. Like, there's been moments where it's like, we're probably not going to put Kanye on the thumbnail recently. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Drake, still fair game. Yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> Till he fucks your kid. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> Like nobody's worried about crime till it's in their neighborhood. You know? yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'm so nervous about this. You know what I'm saying? What what countries did you guys choose to represent for the Olympics? Uh, oh, we didn't. We just called it Audio Olympics because it's like many different like events, what? I guess. Yeah. We didn't represent any countries. We're just representing Hive Mind, I guess. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, I'm I'm gonna be representing for the great country of Bulgaria. Red, white, green. Birth rate of 1.56 births per woman. Ranked 20th uh, in internet speed. 20th what? in the world. Oh, actually. <laughs> That's good. I guess, um, I guess that sounds good. There's nine uh, UNESCO heritage sites there too. Who figures out the birth rate per woman? That's like a <laughs> weird, that's a weird thing to say. 13.4% circumcised, which is low. That, I guess. <laughs> What's the US? Like 90 something. Bullsh. Probably. Bullsh. Well, no, it can't be. There's almost 50% women here. I, uh, <laughs> Alright, Bulgaria it is, and me and Riley will represent the great nation of hive mind. Yes. Alright. I would prefer if you would change it to a B for Bulgaria, because I'm not representing myself there. Oh, I thought it was a B for Ben. No, it's a B for Bulgaria. B for Bul- okay. Yeah. So you're Bulgaria. Yes. Second question has been asked, uh, normally I would do a bar of the day, right? I have some great bars prepared. Yeah. So here, here goes nothing, I guess. <laughs> So you're gonna do one. You said normally I would do one. I said, so here goes nothing, okay? Here goes nothing. Okay. Gorda stara planina Done duna vasine Slon se trachia o griva Nad pinira plamene 
Let me guess, that was the Bulgarian national anthem? That's correct. Okay. That's fire. Pretty gas. <laughs> I heard Tiesto <laughs> remix that. Yeah. I prefer the bars of the day, but I mean, hey, whatever. There is a lot of bars there. They're talking about the great mountains ah. of Bulgaria. Yeah, that was a big two-point bucket for Bulgaria. Yeah. <laughs> Which has a 98% literacy rate. 98%. Yeah, what are there, like, 4 million people that live in the country? 6.78, I think. 6.78 yeah. million. So it's literally Ohio. Um, that's <laughs> not... Ohio's bigger. Does Ohio have a special salad dish named Shopska that won Best Dish in Europe by the European Parliament? I, I don't think so. <laughs> yes, I don't I, think I, they I did. Doubt it. Shopska? Yeah. It's a salad. What's in it? You have to go to Bulgaria to find out. Oh. <laughs> well, another point for Bulgaria. Um, another fun fact, right? Everybody yep. loves that. Sure. This one, you're you're going to like this one. I'm, I'm, I'm Do you know here. that uh, Bulgaria's flag has never been captured in battle? whoop de doo oh, Who have they fought? Anybody good? Probably tons of wars. They were in the Balkans and shit, so they're yeah. kind of like... That was like low-key their golf war. Same era. You know what I mean? 90s. That was their <laughs> masters then, huh? Golf War. Yeah. <laughs> I fought in the Golf War. <laughs> I was up two on Tiger going into Sunday in 2005, and I think you know how the rest of the story goes. <laughs> they probably won more Eurovisions themselves than Bulgaria has, dude. How many have they won? You're not supposed to have to look it up. Yeah, that's if you're really representing about, them. Oh, no, I just... Uh, sorry, I'm just getting a call from somebody. That's it's not true. I, mean, I, did, I literally no, saw... You have it pulled um, up. Nope. You have tabs of Bulgaria facts pulled up. No, I, I literally don't. It's just on a call, guys. Who is Bulgaria it? Bulgaria won. Um, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> okay. I hope Bulgaria isn't like a terrible... Like, I hope they're not terrible. I, I mean, I did some research, but it was mostly just looking up fun facts and cool stuff. Any but, sovereign uh, nation has done evil. They've probably done some evil stuff. So I don't stand by the evil of Bulgaria. I only stand by the great part of it. We mm. live in America. But I'm not singing the American national anthem on High Mind. I wouldn't either. Ah, ah, ah. Bulgarians are staying alive for roughly 73.61 years. That is the average life expectancy of the great nation of Bulgaria. <laughs> Everyone, round of applause in the comments. One thing about Bulgaria, hey. right? It's, it's the oldest country in Europe that's uh. kept its name. You know what I'm saying? So wow. think about that. Through all of the thick and thin, yeah, they wow. still persevere. You know, I've, yeah, I've, wow. I've had four points and I'm going to continue to work through it and I'm going to end up on top at the end yeah, know, wow. for, for, my, for my boys oh, and girls it? and yeah. non-binary people of Bulgaria. <laughs> Where did you get this? What? Where did you... And what is it really for? It's, yeah, it's going to be audio stuff. It's not going to be boxing. You know what? It's for the grit. It's for the determination. The color red in the Bulgarian flag. Can you guess what it represents? Blood. Probably. Yeah. Right? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, Mark Zuckerberg has Bulgarian heritage. Yep, I did know that. Really? Thank you. Bulgaria is the second largest exporter of rose oil, which is used to make perfumes. Yep, I knew that one too. What I do like about this uh, stupid bit that I've done that some people are probably tired of mm -hmm. is that by the end of this video, however, there's probably going to be like 100,000 people that just know a lot about Bulgaria. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they can go to it, they'll, they'll go to a dinner party or Bulgaria might do some terrible thing in the news. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And now they'll, they'll be able to say, huh. 93% of them are circumcised. <laughs> <laughs> no, only 13%. 13% are circumcised. Oh. Uncut gems of Eastern Europe. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Rod Wave. Juice World. It is a Juice World type beat. Yeah! yeah! Bulgaria! <laughs> wow. Bulgaria is the first winner of the Audio Olympics. Can I play the national anthem while I do a victory lap, or are you going to get copyright claimed? We'll get copyright claimed right. by Bulgaria. <laughs> yeah. Just do your victory lap. Wow, congratulations. Blade. Like, oh, like, this music scares the hoes. Or like, yeah. don't give him the ox, he likes Blade. It's like, Blade is just a little bit alternative. Yeah. That's really all that there is to it. If you like Blade, you like Blade. The hoes like Blade, too. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> it's like, you're not going to scare them. Plenty of hoes like Blade. <laughs> My guy Derek likes Blade. He's a total hoe. <laughs> yeah. Homegirl Ashley loves Blade. Total hoe. Self-admitted. Self-titled. The hoe of the friend group. And I'm like, chill out, Ashley. Derek's giving you a run for his money. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, right, right. <laughs> Jay Grant, let's hear the next thing. Charlie Sheen and the dogs washing machine. Steve Harvey's mean when he's not talking to me. I'm on repeat when your mom's tossing the bean. I'm on some meat when you're on washing it's tweet. Ariana Grande with a venti latte. It's Ariana one day with a yerba mate. I go to the home museum where I left my penis. I wrote to the mausoleum on the way to Venus. I take a poop in the toilet, drink a soiling. <laughs> 
what the hell is going on? I think I know who this is. Like who this is? <laughs> yeah. Who made this? Yeah. I know who made this. Yeah. Oh, I know who made this. What's the name of this person that made this song, Grant? This is Dev Lemons. Yeah. Devin? Yeah, this is Dev Lemons. Dev's down bad. She's on Fiverr doing impressions. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I completely forgot to ask you about this. Hmm. The other day when I was driving, I saw one of those Little Caesars guys out spinning the sign like for the pizza place, and it looked just like you. <laughs> No, it have you, didn't. Have you been doing no, that? No, it didn't. What the hell? No, it didn't look like, just like me. What are you talking about? Have you been picking up shifts <laughs> as the sign guy at Little Caesars? <laughs> you did not see what you thought you saw. You must have been high or having a common illusion. That was not me, okay? Are you crying? <laughs> no, I'm not crying. <laughs> this is, I was just what? wondering if you were spinning a sign at Little Caesars. It's not that big of a deal. No, I'm not crying. Yeah, the $5 hot ready. He's not five dollars anymore. So what? It's nothing to cry over. They still have great deals. It's still one of the top sign spinning jobs you can get in the industry. <laughs> I mean, it's head and heels above a car wash or something, or like a uh, Metro PCS. The Little Caesars jobs, like one of the top ones for sign spinning. Abs yes, you better watch your tone. And anyway, it wasn't me. Okay, I didn't know sign spinning was an industry of any kind. I didn't know there's a ranking of sign spinning. Right, now you pissed me off. It was me, motherfucker. And I'm the best goddamn sign spinner on Six Mile. And you let Joey, Bryce, and Angelica, they can get fucked. That's my block. I'm the sign spinner. I invented the triple twirl. And I'm the first one to ever stand on his own sign. I spun it. And I stood right on top of it like a little perch. And it kept spinning. And so did I. And I'm not gonna stop. Just cause some big wig from Hollywood. Ah, <laughs> you know what? You struck a nerve, buddy. You just really, really struck a nerve. How about you don't drive around anymore to places you don't need to go? Are Joe, Bryce, and Angelica other sign spinners? <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't, I- You could call them that. I don't I care. I'm not invested in the drama of the sign spinning community. I'm just asking. I will fucking end this town. <laughs> oh, I will end it. Joker style. Let me show you a little something. That was, that was pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> now what? Who's the big dog on Six Mile Now?